Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this video, we are going to run Python program in Notepad++. Yes, we can run Python program in Notepad++. Here, I have given these steps. We will proceed on each step one by one. Let's begin. So the first thing, you need to check Python is installed on your system or not. To do that, you have to open CMD and at this place on this prompt just type python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter if you see the python version that means python is installed on your system if you see python not found in that case you have to go first downloading and installation of the python i hope you guys have installed the python and now you can proceed with the next step Now this is the step number two. In this step, we have to install a plugin NPP-EXEC in the Notepad++. If this plugin is present in your Notepad++, you can jump to the step number three. Now here in this Notepad, we have to go to the plugins and then select plugins admin. Here in this window, you have a search box type NPP-EXEC and then check this box and now click on this install button and the installation will start right you will get a pop-up box click yes and the installation will begin once the installation is finished your notepad plus plus will be restarted and again this will be opened so we have finished the step number two Let's move to step number three. In the step number, in this step, we have to go to the plugins and then we will see the further action. Go to the plugins and then NPPEXEC and this is coming after the installation of plugin. And here in this list, you have to click on the first option, execute NPP script. Once you click, you will see this pop-up box here, a command is present. Maybe in your case, this command will not be present because I have created the script for the Java as well. That's why showing me, but in your case, this will be blank, right? And you can simply select this drop down as a temporary script. Now what we have to do in this command window, we have to type a script which will help to run our Python program from the Notepad++. So this is three line script and we will copy this and we will paste it here. For your help, I have given the same script step in the description. So you guys can copy and come back and paste it here. Once you paste it, make sure do not leave any space. Okay. The first line NPP underscore save, which will ask you every time when you run a file on which Python program is present. This will ask you to save the file with py extension first. Then this will jump to the current directory where your file is present and then the Python command will pick your file name, right? And this will execute your program. Now we will click on the save button and then this box this will appear in front of you. So here we have to give the name to our script we have just created. So suppose I'm choosing run Python or you can use any name, whatever you like. You can go like this as well, run Python program. Once you click, your script name will be added here in this drop down list. That means we have added it successfully. Now, finally, click on this OK button. Once you click OK, you will see some execution and this console result here like ready. That means we are ready to proceed. Let's go back to our notepad. Okay, we will see the next step. Here, the step number four. In the step number four, we will create a menu item and a shortcut key for our program, right? For this script, which we have just created. So not every time going to the different, different step 
okay we will simply create a, create a shortcut menu item and for that we will assign a shortcut key right again go to the plugins npp ex ec and then here in this list come to this advanced options and and this window will appear on this place you can see on right hand side we have advanced option on the left hand side we have menu items create section here you can give the name so suppose for the menu item you want to give a name so i'm giving a relevant name here run python right which seems suitable in the next here in this drop down you have to associate that created script so in the previous step we have created this script run python program so simply select that okay once you will select the next step you have to do simply click on this add button okay once you click you can see on this big box your script will be added right on the right hand side you can see a hotkey is assigned which is f6 if you want to choose the different hotkey to run your script you can select from the drop down okay leave the rest of the part as it is now finally click on this ok button and you will get this message right because we have done some changes so notepad will be restart again if it is not restarted simply close it and open again till this step we have created the menu item now we will create a shortcut let's see where we have created our shortcut this is our menu item okay this will be placed here at the bottom the last step we have to create a shortcut key so we have to map the key with this menu item right go to the settings and here is the option shortcut mapper click on it and you will see this tabular format window in this we have lots of menu item and the shortcut key assigned for that you can modify that as well but for our script our shortcut we have to go in this plugin commands tab and look for that you can simply go here in this filter box and type the name of the shortcut we have created right so this is run python this is our shortcut go to this uh, shortcut cell click on it and this small pop-up window will appear okay this is the name for which we are going to create a shortcut so we have an option to create a shortcut with the combination of control alt shift and the other option means other keyboard keys combination you can pick or you can simply use shift key plus any function key any numeric key okay any symbol so you can choose a relevant combination right so suppose i'm going to run with the help of control plus r okay so here i've chosen uh control and r but uh, this system is showing me like this combination is already present so this will show you the conflicts if this combination is not present you will get no conflict that means you can proceed and this shortcut will be created for your menu item here we go so i have chosen alt plus r you can choose whatever you want from this drop down right finally there's no conflict let's proceed click ok and that shortcut will be present in this cell now you can scroll down and look for your uh, shortcut and the shortcut key combination your menu item and the shortcut key combination which is l plus r see this previously it was not there after creating this shortcut and this will be present here okay let's run a program okay simply open a notepad new tab and simply type a python program right and 
once you go on that menu if you want to run or you simply press alt plus r or whatever the shortcut key you have created then this will show you this pop-up box this will ask you to save your program somewhere in your folder right so select a folder where you want to put all your programs and save it with the py extension and this will be execute immediately and you will get the result of your program see this so there's a function which is adding two numbers right and giving the total of that number which is printed 10 plus 5 which is 15 now suppose you're doing some changes so i have done the changes a variable is 100 b is equal to 5 and now we will run it again okay simply go to the plugins and uh, you can choose that menu item or simply press the shortcut key that what you have created right you can go this way as well the run python or simply press alt plus r and this program will be executed again you will get the result here in this console so friends our menu item and the shortcut is working properly here our execution is successful so friends, if you found this tutorial relevant and useful, you guys can hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more. So this is the way you can run the Python program in Notepad++. I hope to see you in the next one. Happy coding and thanks for watching. Bye for now.